Okay, first of all, thank you to Courtney and Catherine for creating this new YouTuber, new small YouTuber tag and tagging me in it. The old one was not interesting and this one, guess what, it's more interesting. So let's get into it. Describe your content in one sentence. It is a quirky mental breakdown. Two, what equipment do you use to film? I use my Canon 70D for sit down things and then I'll use my Canon G7X for vlogging. I know it's pretty basic and then sometimes I'll use my phone but I don't like to use my phone because it's not very good quality and I always end up looking at myself and not the lens. Hello! Um, and what else will I use? I have Oh, that doesn't, I haven't used it on this channel. It doesn't count. But yeah, I'll link those down below for you. They've been good for me. They're kind of basic. I think like a lot of YouTubers use those two cameras. Three, what do you use to edit? I use Final Cut Pro. I did not pay full price for it. Which YouTuber do you resemble the most in terms of content? Um, that's a little bit difficult for me to say. People have compared me to Drew Monson Grace Helbig, and this guy named Miles? This guy named Miles. I haven't gotten to watching his videos yet, but I looked at all of his thumbnails and they were amazing, so I should really watch him. And then once someone compared me to Emma Chamberlain. In terms of the lists of content I make, I don't really know a YouTuber that is exactly the same as me, which is cool. That's a good ad for myself. No one is like me at all on this platform. Please subscribe. But yeah, if you know another YouTuber that I remind you of, let me know because I always like to look up their channels and see if I've watched them before uh, and I've accidentally turned into them or if I haven't seen them and I can find someone new that I like. So yeah, let me know. Which big YouTuber would you love to collab with and why? I would love to collab with basically any of the people that I mentioned in the last question because I think it would be really cool. We could like compare minds. We could see if our minds are really the same or not. Or we could just like do a challenge. Also, Christine Sidelko, love her. Does your channel meet the new monetization guidelines? No. <laughs> do you think the new guidelines are fair? Not really. I could understand a thousand, but I think, and I could even understand a little bit higher than a thousand, but I think the the thousand subscribers doesn't really match up with the 4,000 hours of watch time in a year because that's, that's just a lot more than what I've seen people with a thousand subscribers get. Um, I've seen people with a thousand subscribers for the most part getting anywhere between 100 views and 500 per video. And 500 is even a stretch. I'm not too far off from a thousand, so I don't know, maybe subscribe, help me out. I don't know, hi, please subscribe. What do you classify as a small YouTuber? This is tricky because people with 100,000 subscribers will call themselves small YouTubers, even though in the in the scheme of things, yeah, they're small, but then what, what am I? Am I a petite YouTuber? Am I just a diminutive YouTuber? Am I a puny YouTuber? If you're a small YouTuber, if you had more money, equipment, support, what content would you make? I'd probably make like about the same <laughs> content, just not all all like I'm doing now. I think I would like to make a lot more long form content and I also like what Shane Dawson's doing with his channel where he, he just has all this money so he's like giving shit to people. Um, he hired Jesus in a video. I would hire Jesus so fast. Oh, and then maybe like every other big YouTuber, I'd turn into a rapper just for the heck of it because I got so much money, time on my hands, I can learn how to rap. Yeah, I'd do that. Do you watch and support other small YouTubers? Yes, all the time. I think that's so important to support each other. The YouTube algorithm isn't necessarily kind to small YouTubers and I think that people can have really really good content, stuff that would normally get a lot of views on a bigger channel with tons of subscribers but it's just not getting any recognition when the person has like a hundred subscribers. So I think it's cool to support each other and make friends and I think this is the lightning round so we'll put like some effects and maybe a title here. <laughs> List three hobbies outside of YouTube. Writing. Spending money on Disney World parks and products, like too much money. Watching TV. When do you upload? Literally 
any day of the week, pick it, and eventually I'll probably upload on that day. Uh, lately, my schedule's just been dumb because of school. It used to be, actually it never was, but like I had a fantasy where I would post Mondays and Thursdays and I would even tell people that, but then it would be more like Monday and Monday or Sunday and Thursday or Sunday and Friday. So, um, really just subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and... A video will appear on one of those days but I shoot for I do shoot for Monday Thursday it just never happens where do you want your channel to be in a year's time it's hard for me to pinpoint a number because whatever that number is gonna be I'm either gonna surpass it or I'm gonna hit it or I'm gonna be below it like you you can't be anything other than that and in any case that's gonna stress me out because if I pass it then I have to aim for a bigger goal <laughs> um, so, I would like to say that I hope that I continue making content that makes me feel creative and that I enjoy making. I hope that I continue to laugh at myself and I hope that I still get to engage with my audience. And that is the most important thing. Tell us your social medias. So I have a couple, I actually have two Twitters. I have one where I promote the heck out of, <laughs> out of my YouTube page and talk to other small YouTubers and then occasionally I tweet some random things sometimes it's a joke sometimes it's just me saying i want coffee because that's the truth and then there's my personal which is where i put up mood boards and random tweets and i talk to my pals 15 does pineapple belong on pizza yes absolutely 100 percent fight me in the comments actually pineapple on pizza is one of my favorite toppings on pizza i just think that the sauce and the pineapple go really well together and you can't contest me on that because I have Italian heritage and my grandma totally taught me um, how to make pineapple pizza when I came out of the womb so good luck fight me in the comments oh and I guess I have to tag people now I'm gonna tag literally every small youtuber out there anyway again thank you to Catherine and courtney for creating this tag and tagging me i hope you liked the video please go ahead and subscribe and give it a like and check out my cat surprise <laughs> okay i'm getting out of here goodbye